And we're now going to central China's Hunan province, where rice output has achieved a new milestone. With a steady rise in population and rising food costs, the increased output has come as good news as parts of the world faces food shortages. While well, James Kim takes a look at the major breakthrough. Feeding the world's largest population just got easier. This yield of rice is a special hybrid variety, possessing higher output rates than their normal counterparts. This year, hybrid rice output in test fields have reached 13.5 thousand kilograms per hectare, making it China's highest rice yield. The new record was announced by Chinese agricultural experts at a press conference in Changsha on Monday. Rice is a staple food for 60 percent of the Chinese population. Increasing rice output is crucial. It's taken years to achieve this, but we finally made it. China's hybrid rice output has gone from 10,000 kilograms per hectare in 1999 to the current record level. According to Yuan Longping, many factors have contributed to this year's success. Land quality and the ecological environment have contributed to the increased output. Meanwhile, local governments as well as the Ministry of Agriculture also provided assistance. Plans are underway to bring the new hybrid strain to other rice paddies across China. But due to water shortages in large areas across the country, output may be a little lower than the test fields, but will be still significantly higher than normal rice yields. Output will still also be far higher than the global average of 3,900 kilograms per hectare. China accounts for roughly 23 percent of the world's population, but has just 7 percent of the world's arable land. With increased rice productivity brought by these new hybrid rice strains, China will have an easier time meeting the demand for grain while also keeping prices stable. James Kim, CCTV.